Today we're in Marley Park to learn all about miniature trains. There's electric ones, steam ones, diesel and petrol ones. Come on and we'll find out all about them. So I'm here with Terry in the Dublin Society of Model and Experimental Engineers. Terry, thanks so much for having me down here. You're very welcome. So Terry, I've seen so much going on around the place here. There's, there's uh, miniature trains, there's all sorts of tools and equipment. Can you tell me a little bit about this club and how it got started? The Society was formed in 1901 okay. uh, and at the start it was mainly a uh, boat club okay. and uh, they the members uh, would build these boats. So we do ourselves, we build our models as well. Miniature boats. Miniature boats, oh, yeah. Yes. They're, they're scale models. Yes, so okay. they reflect the original size. Yes. And at the moment they're still running, they're running in Herbert Park and have been running there since 1901. Uh -huh, okay. uh, we have been a society since 1901 without a break. Okay. We operated in Herbert Park where we had a miniature track, miniature yes. rail, miniature engines, all scale models. Uh -huh. And then in 1979, we moved up to Herbert Park, or to Marley Park. Uh -huh. We moved up to Marley Park. Where we are now. Where we are now. <laughs> and we know the first track we had was the race track. Okay. We carry three different sizes of engines on that. Seven and a quarter, five and three and a half. Okay. And we carry children on that track as well. These, children these trains only. can pull children? The children will pull children, usually about eight or so, maybe okay. ten at the one time, yes, yeah, yeah. on two passenger carriages. Okay, fantastic. We, we call them passenger cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we give them a trip around the track. It's free, yeah. very important, Great. it's free. And we do that. We carry around about 6,000 per year. 6,000 kids every year? Every year, yeah. Wow, so over the number of years, there's quite a few. And of course, the children grow up have yeah. their own children yeah. and they come back again and those who travel on the, the train never forget yeah, yeah, yeah. they never ever forget huh. and we have people going back and saying I remember traveling X number of years ago and they often ask the question were you there and sometimes you feel offended and best to say nothing so you weren't here since 1901 no <laughs> not quite no. not quite, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> 1910 <laughs> but, but we, we were on as I say every Saturday afternoon yeah during the summer. So if kids at home are watching, they can come here every Saturday afternoon. Every they can Saturday ride afternoon, these from half two to five o'clock, uh, we, we'll be running. Lovely. Provided there's not raining, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah, that's always a thing in Ireland. Yeah. And come here, I might ask you, uh, would it be possible to maybe have a look in a bit more detail at some of these Yes, centers? you can indeed, of course. If I look, speak to my colleague, John, okay. and he'll give you more detail about different locos and how they are built and so on. Fantastic, I'll go and chat to John, so thank you you're, so much. You're very welcome. Here I am with John, and he's going to teach me all about these engines and how they work. Thanks so much, John. Oh, no, no, perfectly okay. So we're looking at here, how is this uh, engine here operated? This is it's steam powered, coal fired by what we have here in the... Okay, these little coal. So you actually, this is like an actual real working steam powered train. Miniature. Miniature train. The only yes, difference yeah. between it and the full size would be the size of it. Okay, fantastic. Mm. And it's an amazing piece of engineering and you have an engineering background yourself, I am, isn't yes, it? yes, yeah. Go what on. we have basically, you have the boiler. Boiler, okay. That's where the water goes to be heated, to be uh -huh. to converted into steam. Yes. Water tanks, one on either side, which carries the water, okay. which is pumped into the boiler. And that's where they call it a tank engine. Exactly. Carries a tank of water, perfect. Yeah. You have other types, which is called a saddle tank, which means the tank goes over the top here. Okay, yes. So we have a whole lot of different uh, handles and different bits and pieces here. Mm -hmm. how, what actually, what, how, how do you, oh, you pop the coal in here, is That's it? where the coal would go. Anyone who's familiar with a domestic fireplace yes. will know there's a grate in it. Yeah. There's a grate in that, and there's also an ash pan for catching all the rubbish. Otherwise, we'd be burning the hell out of the track. Yes. Uh, so we don't like to do that. Okay, so you start your fire in here. We start the fire in there. Uh, it's assisted by a fan we put on the chimney okay. to create an artificial draft. Okay, to get the fire going. To get, to get the oxygen through the fire. Yes. Uh, at that stage, when that's removed, the power for the blower now comes from the engine itself. Okay, yes. And it's steam driven. Okay, I know. I see lots of different dials and wheels and yeah. bits and pieces here. Can you t take me through kind of what the all different ones do? You have pressure gauges. Okay, pressure gauges. That's Pr the pressure in the... The pressure in the boiler. Yes. But also this, this, this one on here will read the pressure in the steam chest, which is down here. Okay, steam chest. Okay, yeah, cool. which is 
Well, uh, there's one. There's one actually on both sides. Okay, and it just holds a whole lot of steam ready to go. It, yeah, it holds it there prior to going into the cylinders. Uh -huh. And when it goes into the cylinders, it moves the pistons, which in turn moves the wheels, and ah, yes. away we go. Because that's the, basically the base of the engine. You need to move the pistons exactly. with some steam pressure, pressure, get them going up and down. They move yeah. the wheels, and it moves along. Yeah. There's different handles here. What, what do they actually do? Well, you've got the throttle valve there. That's that's the. The equivalent in the car would be your accelerator. Accelerator, pull that over and it goes fast. Egg, exactly. Okay, that little handle. Yeah. What else do we have? You have, have other ones then that are, what they do, to, they're injectors which assist in putting water into the boiler from the, uh -huh. from the tank here okay, or, the, or, yes. the, or the tanks here. Okay, so you have three tanks. You have three, this one is basically an emergency backup. Okay, yes. Hand operated. Aha. Uh -huh. You Love can also stuff. get in the way at times when you're sitting there. Yes, perfect, <laughs> perfect. And, and then uh, what's this little handle here about? That one there will be your forward or reverse. Okay. Forward, reverse. Lovely, perfect. And it locks into the neutral position. Lovely stuff. And, and there's also a whistle valve there at the top. Oh, you can... And it blows. Out here, lovely. That's the best part. You want that when the train arrives, you need that whistle in the station, otherwise it, uh, you wouldn't think it would steam at all. That is a replica Lunkenheimer steam whistle. <laughs> lovely stuff. Fantastic. And when would these type of trains have actually been used, like the full-size ones? What sort of years were they in use? Oh, she got me there now. I suppose up in the 50s, uh, they would have been quite popular. Okay, so yeah. people, people's maybe grandparents would well remember taking steam trains. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Dublin and all yeah, that stuff. yeah. But, uh, well, I think it's amazing that, that kids now can come here to Marley Park and they can actually ride on a miniature version of a steam engine, just like their grandparents would have done. Well, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I've been told that it's not just steam engines you have here. No, um, we have... Well, we have a look at this petrol well, engine. Petrol one here. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually a petrol train. Uh, diesel outline, okay, petrol yes. driven. Okay, diesel outline, petrol driven. Yes. And this is a replica of a real one that would have run here in Ireland. It would have in the 60s. I think I think it's an A class. I think I couldn't be, you uh -huh. know, there's people who will correct me on that. No problem at all. And so, yeah, so tell me a little bit about this train, how it came to be and how it works. <sighs> this came to be when we started to talk about the ground level track. Okay, yes. And we needed a bigger engine. Okay, right. So we, two of us decided, well, this is what we'll do. Yes. And okay. this is what we, we, we uh, the finished product. Yeah, it looks amazing. I remember seeing these when I was a kid. I remember still yeah. seeing these, these uh, orange and black trains that used to drive along these right. diesel trains. And it's a really perfect replica of it. And so, so there's an actual petrol engine running inside. There's it. an actual petrol. If we open the top, okay, I'll just perfect. take that off. Yeah out of the way. Oh, wow. So, sure. so now we have the the power unit, which is a Honda motorcycle engine. Okay, 50, 50. motorbike put in here. Absolutely. And you have the kickstart there on the, the side. side here with the handle that goes We have a handle that goes on. It, it's a bit hard to get a leg over that to try and kick it, you yeah. know. <laughs> so the, we have the engine, yes. we have the petrol. Okay. There's an exhaust system there, which is, as you can see, it's made up oh, from plumbing fittings. Okay, so that was a homemade exhaust. Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. A battery here probably has a battery. Battery, battery, all the battery does is to drive the fan. Okay. There's a fan there in the front, cool. which draws air, cold air across the engine. Perfect. And this, would this be a four stroke or a two stroke engine? Uh, Four, I think. Four stroke. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Four stroke engine. Perfect. I'm more. The, I'm more the steam end than this end. No but, you know. at all. I guess the fundamental thing is that you just need something to push these pistons to push the wheels, whether it's petrol that's doing it or, or whether it's steam that's exactly, doing it. Exactly. Exactly. And there's a set of air horns in there at the back. Oh, lovely stuff! So you can hit the horn. And this is—is is this how you operate it? This is BDDD, shall we say, the manifold to control everything. Okay. Yes. Um, all the switches would be in the forward position before uh, kickstarting it. Okay. Or, yes. Or cranking it, whatever you want to do. Your main throttle valve is that one there. I think that's off a bicycle, I think. Okay, yeah, looks like it, looks like it. And yeah. this here now would be your, again, gear selection. Okay. First, second, uh -huh. third, fourth, and back into neutral again. Okay, lovely. And if this is a, uh, an engine off a motorbike, can this go as fast as a motorbike? Um, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, yeah, it might come off you, the track. You, you don't have too many eight-wheel Honda 50s going <laughs> <No>. around. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, that's fantastic. That's amazing. So we've seen our we've seen our steam engine, we've seen our petrol engine, mm -hmm. and now uh, we have uh, an electric engine. How about electric? Right? We'll yeah. have a look at the electric. Let's go have a look. These are originally started out with the Honda 50 motorcycle engine. Okay, right. And the engine gave us a bit of problem, so we decided at that, that stage we'd change over to electric. Okay, yeah, perfect. 
which means it's very, very silent running. Uh -huh, yes. So the addition to the, uh, the controls actually was a whole sound system. Okay. So right. we get the full sound. Of the, oh, and it's all electronic. Okay, it's brilliant. all electronic. Can we have a look inside it? How we it can, works? Well, let's. Yeah, you got that? Perfect. Okay, right. Oh, this looks a bit more futuristic. So, speaker. Speaker for the sounds. Um, speed control. Yeah. Electric motor. Electric motor. Batteries. Batteries. And a whole lot of wiring in there. Oh, okay, all right, fantastic. <laughs> I think it's so cool to come that you can, that you, can, you can show all the generations, right from the yeah. steam to the petrol or diesel, and then onto electric. And onto that's kind electric. of what we're hoping to do, I suppose. Exactly. You know, to be more, exactly. The climate, uh, more good for the climate. And oh, we have a whole control panel. Oh, this is very futuristic looking. It is. So what can you do here? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, lovely stuff. So you get the sound of the engine. Okay, so is this another steam engine here? This is another steam engine, and it goes by the name of Springbok. A lot of, a lot of the designers uh, put their own names on them. Yes, yeah, yeah. And this one is Springbok. Uh, there's Bongo, there's all the... Yeah, yeah, there's more the names than you can names. throw it. Throw and it, uh, all of the mechanisms is all the same, the engine... All, all the mechanism, stuff. the boiler controls, yeah. everything is identical to the first one we looked at. Fantastic. And there's water stored in this tank? This is the whole water tank, yes. And then your coal on top. And the coal on top with the emergency backup just in case. Because you need to always have water in the tank, is that it? Boiler, the level of water in the boiler is critical. It uh -huh. must be kept at a certain level. But it would be dangerous It otherwise? would, otherwise it can be very, very dangerous. Okay, you could have an explosion even. Exactly. Uh -huh. So the person who's driving really has to know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't let strong, anyone operate. Strong, strongly recommended, strongly yeah. Strongly recommended. We, we, we now have a couple of guys now uh, earmarked for training on this. Fantastic. You know, yeah, yeah, it's important to make sure you always have new people trained in if someone's not in or whatever. Years ago, I used to be able to drive this, but when you're sitting here... Okay, yes. And you want to get to there, uh -huh. it's a long stretch. Okay, yes, yeah, so the driver sits back here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these tiny little levers to move yeah. them on. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. And now, hold on, this tiny little lever, this can't actually be a steam engine, is it? It is. Oh, what? It's what we classify as garden railway. Okay, yes. We have a track over the far side there, yeah. which we occasionally take out. But yes, this is coal, uh, it's not coal fired, it's gas fired. Okay, I was wondering how you get tiny little pieces of coal into that fire. Well, there is engines actually that do operate on coal. Yes, that's yes. this size? This size. Okay, but this one uses gas? This one uses gas, yeah. Okay, but it's the same, the engine is the same? and there's Exactly the, the same, the... you've got the same pistons, you've got the same valves, the same controls in the here that you would have in that one or the other one we were looking at previous. The only thing it has is the gas tank. The yes. others didn't have gas. Okay, that is amazing. You have such a great collection of all <laughs> sorts of different locomotives here, and you have amazing tracks to bring them around. Yeah. Do you think maybe we might be able to see one going on the track? Um, I'm sure we can manage something. Yeah, yeah. thanks yeah. a lot. Over to our track. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to get an actual ride in this train. We're going to get, take a spin around this track, for, especially for you. Oh, thank you. So, and will it be able to pull the two of us? Well, yeah, it could maybe 10, 15 people. Jeez, well, we'll find out. Let's hop on and see how we go. Now, try to keep her under maybe 100 mile an hour if you can. No, f no problem there. <laughs> and it's battery powered, so you won't battery. hear an engine. You won't hear anything at all. Woohoo, here we go. Choo choo. <laughs> You've already seen the smaller layout that we have, which we carry children on every Saturday afternoon during the summer. But we also have a much longer ground level line, uh, which you can see here behind me. This uh, can cater for much larger locomotives, uh, heavier locomotives than the uh, smaller track. And it is also much longer, comprising nearly 900 meters of track. This was originally built about 35 years ago. Uh, in recent times it has suffered deterioration as all the sleepers were made of wood and these started to decay. So over the past three winters we've had a program 
whereby our members have replaced some 5,000 sleepers, all of the sleepers, with modern plastic material, which we hope will have a near infinite life. Thanks so much, John. I had an amazing time. I got a ride around the track on the train. I learned so much about trains. We had steam engines, we had petrol and diesel engines, we had electric engines, and we saw all the work that you guys are doing here today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I hope you learned a few things too, and we're already looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you.